Amdala, and welcome to the second solar farm install that we have ongoing here. Uh, here in this building we have a 10 kilowatt Huawei Sun 2000 inverter, I think the name was, and up on the roof we have 15 kilowatts of panels. So this is a big boy install, I mean it's like over double the power of the one that I have on my workshop. So this one was put into use uh, in late March this year and it has already output over seven and a half megawatt hours of energy. So with this new farm and the old farm, I would say that we are completely offsetting all of uh, Dallas EV repairs operations like uh, CO2 emissions and uh, like electricity needs for sure. And um, what else? Yeah, this inverter is actually capable of uh, having batteries connected to it as well but it's very finicky, it only wants the Huawei branded batteries. But who knows, we might be able to cobble something together there also. So this is really exciting to have um, many different brands of inverters available in case we want to experiment with batteries. But as you know, many projects, uh, lots of things to do, but we will get to them eventually. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, this is probably not the last solar install that uh, I'm gonna do, uh, because at the moment solar panels make a lot of sense, especially here in Finland. Uh, they are very cheap to put up and uh, the return of investment, it can be anywhere between five to seven years, depending on what type of installer you have. And um, if I had a magic crystal ball, uh, I don't have it, but um, energy prices, most likely will go up a bit in the future. So having your own power generation ongoing is probably one of the smartest investments you can make right now. So if you are thinking about getting solar panels, just do it. <laughs> That's my take on it. It's, it's a no-brainer. But yeah, uh, like I mentioned, this is not the last install we're gonna be making. Uh, we'll probably expand uh, with a few different uh, brands also. It was very interesting to check out this Huawei one. It's quite different from the Fronius. Uh, the Huawei plant management system also uh, kind of by default, especially the web browser based one, it makes you manage like different plants that you have ongoing. So it's more maybe industrial compared to the Fronius, which is a bit more home use. So yeah, very in interesting to try different brands of inverters. But I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick video uh, on the solar update and um, yeah, uh, also massive thanks to my Patreon supporters as always. I really can't mention you guys enough because yeah, you keep all these crazy projects happening actually. So yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Have a nice summer. Bye.